How would you like to be a priest? Father, I could be a priest? If God wants something to happen, it will happen. But you gotta trust in him. I think we can build something beautiful, Father. Press forward and fear nothing. I'm, I'm scared. Hush, child, pray. I told you, you should have never come back. He is expected to minister only to the cult. There is too many white folk going there. Augustus, where are you? Come quick. You can get that new roof for the church out of my money now. Regrets, regrets. Take your hands off of them. Get out of quench. I must tell you in confidence, I fear for my life. Get out! Augustus, now where were we? Son, you can't give them what you don't have. They need the bread of life. And who else will give it to them? We want no totems here. It's not the strong who prevail, but the weak who give everything to the Lord. May they all be one in your love. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal away, steal away home, said I ain't got long to stay. Hello, I'm Leonardo DiFilippis, director of the live dramatic production, Tolton from Slave to Priest. Father Augustus Tolton, the first black priest in America, an escaped slave who persevered against incredible odds, can show us the way to reconciliation and true Christian charity. We've been asked to bring this moving live drama to the Sacramento Diocese because it can be a powerful vehicle of reconciliation. It creates a genuine encounter that prepares the way for a conversion of heart. You are truly showing your love for Jesus by having a conversation about how we can all open wide our hearts to eliminate the sin of racism in our church and build up the bonds of mercy. The Tolton production performed live in your community or school this upcoming September will provide a concrete way to bring about this healing. I pray that the whole Diocese of Sacramento will support bringing Tolton to your communities and opening wide the doors to Christ. It's a fantastic show with a gripping message of perseverance in the face of unbelievable persecution. I'm going to share with you a scene now from the play when Father Tolton was a slave. And then you'll meet actor Jim Coleman, who's brought Father Tolton to life for audiences all over America. I'll let him tell you why this play can make a real difference in drawing us all into the mystery of Christ's prayer, that they may all be one. Every hour in the day, we could hear the whip going. The day before we escaped, that was the last straw. The overseer tied the Lilizzi up and whipped him with a hickory switch. He used to get great bunches of these switches and he'd hang them in his house to dry. He'd take five or six, wear them out, and send for more. He'd whip till he was tired, then he'd sit on a stump. Once he was resting, he'd begin again. And he was very strong, and he could whip hard. Hello, everyone. My name is Jim Coleman. And I want to tell you why I have devoted the last two years of my life to telling the story of Father Augustus Tolton in the drama from Tolton from Slave to Priest. I am moved and touched by how profoundly this show touches people's hearts and souls when they see his undying determination and his, his unbelievable spirit and his love for Jesus Christ. He loves Jesus with his whole being. And it really moves people. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I was born and raised in Dallas. I lived in all black, black section of Dallas. And Catholicism was not an option. I had never heard of a black Catholic. And that should never be. 
like Father Tolton says, the church is a church for all people. There is never a reason for us not to know Catholicism or Christ. We need a way to stop or, or this horror of racism and hatred. We need a role model. And I think Father Tolton is just a man for that job. When a kid comes up to me after a show and he says that, um, I want to be a priest. I really want to be a priest. And he's never going to give up. Because now he's seen a black kid that has gone through so much, through the unspeakable horrors of racism and, and, and slavery, and still persevere to become a priest. He, look, I want you to meet him. I want you to come to this drama. I want you to meet Father Tolton. And I want you to see how this show is a tangible, tangible tool against racism in the Diocese of Sacramento. Come and see it. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring strangers, bring Catholics and non-Catholics. All are free to come and see. And hopefully his story can bring together the people of California, the Diocese of Sacramento, I want you to come out. I want to meet you in person. I want to thank you for supporting this, for supporting this cause, for supporting Tolton from slave to priest, this drama. And in closing, what I want to do is leave you with Father Tolton's moving homily um, as seen in the drama when he returns to America after his ordination. God bless that they may be one as we are one, I and them and you and me. My brothers and sisters, that is the prayer for all of us here today. He is inviting us into the love of the Trinity itself. What a mystery. Our little town of Quincy is called to become one as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one. Not the same. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit, they remain truly unique, each a complete and separate person. Yet they are one. How do we achieve this with all of our differences? Do we abandon our individual qualities, our backgrounds, our desires, our talents? Do we wait for the elimination of all of our sins to achieve this perfection of love. No. You and I, we are all flawed human beings. We will never escape our human weakness. What we must do, dear friends, is surrender to the mercy of God. It is through His power that we will overcome the many hurts that we've caused each other. It is his love that must transform Quincy. Do you desire this? Do you long for his peace? Do you want to know deep in your heart that the father loves you even as he loves his son? Then forgive your persecutors. Pray for those that mistreat you. And he will have mercy on your soul and fill you with his joy and peace.